Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Testing Mini Bytes. I'm your friend Amunam Sattivel, and this is our part two. Uh, in the previous video, I have reviewed a couple of assignments, and this video, I'm going to take another two assignments, which is really really exciting. And uh, let's get started without wasting much time. So this one is from Sadab, and uh, Sadab uh, is is a is a long follower of our channel, and uh, he has submitted this particular assignment in TypeScript. So I'm not an expert in TypeScript, but I can basically understand what the code is. And the, the readme file here <clears throat> is, is pretty good compared to all the other assessment. Uh, like, you know, he has clearly mentioned what's the command that needs to run, you know, uh, to set up the project, where to find the reports. And he also have done GitHub actions, which is really, really cool. And uh, for every push to the master branch, uh, all the tests will be executed. Okay, using the GitHub action, Docker image, post execution report will be copied to GitHub artifact, which can be later on. Exactly, this is this is a very good approach. Uh, he is not spending any extra cost on the infrastructure uh, to run your, uh, you know, uh, uh, automated test. So this is really cool. And he also given comments to how to build the image and then uh, run it, very good. And he also mentioned like, what are the features it has? Uh, he used Mocha and uh, Mocha of some report. Uh, he used custom types for better code intelligence, services enums uh, for better input control, schema validations, multi environment support, uh, JSON file as data source, exactly what we have asked for, and uh, Docker and GitHub integration. Yes, uh, I think it should be GitHub actions, right? So GitHub is pretty common. And uh, enhanced import statement, yes, and uh, report response logger, okay. And this is a folder structure, very good. A sample report, that's also good. Uh, very neat. Let's get in the uh, workflows. Let's see the YAML file. Uh, for those who haven't uh, you know, started their GitHub Actions learning, maybe I'll start a video series soon, but I already uh, you know, posted um, a link where uh, I have written a, in detail about uh, GitHub Actions. It's, it's, it's really, really interesting. It's better than Jenkins. You will love it. Um, uh, just one one suggestion from me. Uh, let's stop using master and uh, let's let's also use, try to use main as our main branch. Uh, but yeah, and he is using Ubuntu latest uh, runner, uh, pulling the code. Uh, okay, setting up the Node.js with particular version, very good. And uh, set up Docker build X, I think for the Docker catchy. Uh, and then he's trying to use the Docker file that is present in this uh, root directory, uh, trying to build an image with this particular tag, but I don't see it's getting pushed somewhere. Uh, he's, he's saving the cache, uh, but it's not getting pushed, right? He's just building the image, maybe for this use case, but it's better to push it to AWS CCR or, or maybe to the Docker hub, uh, at least if I'm not right, if I'm not wrong, uh, he's just building the image. Um, or any API test in Docker, yes. I was trying to run it using Docker run. Again, when you have, uh, what I see here is when you have the code, you can you can directly run using the code, right? So you can directly use npm install and npm run, but maybe he's trying to demonstrate that he knows how to use Docker. Uh, that's well and good. Uh, it, it's working as well, that's good. And uh, he's trying to upload the artifact, that's well and good. Uh, trying to publish the report in the GitHub pages, it's, it's a very big thumbs up for me because we don't have to uh, basically send this as a Slack message or email. Those things are very, very outdated. We don't want to you know, spam others inboxes. This is really cool. And let's see the reports, sample reports. I think there are some failures, but let's go to the uh, pages, GitHub pages. Yes, this is where it is. So this is the report. Uh, so I think, uh, okay, this is the readme file, it's not the report. Okay, uh, I think he's deploying the readme file. Maybe the reports is here. Let's see what it does. Okay, I think it's the file. Maybe there is something wrong in this. Let's... Uh, Let's go to the code and let's go to the runner again to check what's exactly he's doing. 
I was trying to publish the dot report. Am I missing anything? Okay. Let's go to the GH pages. Mm -hmm. It should it should be there. It's trying to publish the report. Pages. So, but it is. It is not. Maybe it became old. I don't know. I don't know. But but it was ran eight days ago. Uh, but when I open this, it is basically showing me the readme file, right? And not the reports. There is some some kind of problem here. Okay, but but it, it is well and good, right? So we are not expecting a perfection here, but uh, he knows what is GitHub Actions, how to use this. That's really, really good. Maybe he could have added this dot VS code. Uh, into the git ignore. Uh, he used Docker file. Uh, Docker file is very very simple, but he can also add Docker ignore. Uh, but in this case, it seems you don't need it. But it's better to have something in place. Um, all good. I think uh, everything is perfect. Maybe I have pulled the pull the framework here. Um, I have uh, pulled this framework into VS Code and. Uh, Readme file, we already seen this. And uh, one thing that I liked about is he using path, instead of directly using a big path in the classes, he's trying to have uh, tags like this and uh, is, use, is utilizing that in his code. You say instead of the entire path, he just uses other resources. Uh, that's really, really good. And uh, the test is basically, is, you know, passing the user payload type, uh, very good. And he is dynamically constructing the test name, well and good. And uh, maybe there is no uh, library to calculate the uh, time of the response. So he's trying to build something from his side, uh, starting it before the call, stopping it after the call. Uh, that's what he is doing here. But apart from that, even his, he has a, his, his test implementation and the test intention, both are separated. So this is his test intention is, is basically this and the test implementation is, is hidden in this post call that is really good and uh, this is accepting these three things uh, if headers are present he is attaching the headers otherwise he is returning without the headers same for the get call um, but why we need a payload for a get call i think this can be avoided um, we don't need this and uh, but apart from that, the code code is really, really neat. In the, he's trying to log something into the report that is response, it seems. So super test response, really good. I, I think I really, really like his code. Uh, test data.json, exactly in the format what I've asked. Schema here. Uh, let's try to uh, run the test. And he has mentioned npm install and npm test. That's, I, I have done this npm install, so this I'll do NPM test and both the tests are pa passing all good. So I think a test is good, uh, but only one thing is um, um, uh, this particular Pojo, he is validating field by field. Uh, can we make this as more fluent? I don't know if, whether it is possible in TypeScript, uh, but, but apart from that, uh, the code is very clean. Uh, he, he has written very few classes all of them are very neat. Uh, there is nothing much I, I have to do here. Uh, let's say I, I don't know much of the uh, TypeScript, but even if I want to log something else, uh, I think uh, I can add new code myself. So, so this is something uh, very important. So even if you don't know anything, someone who, who doesn't know about your code, but can still come here and let's say uh, log something into your report. So response dot, maybe I want to, Pass the headers in, in, into the uh, report so you can do all these things, right? So, this is very, very easy. So, this code is very neat so that anyone can come here and make changes. Definitely among the top two percentage, very well done. So, now. and uh, let's go to the other, other uh, submission, uh, Suryajit, and uh, he has used GitLab. I have pulled the code because he even mentioned like this is kind of his learning project. So it also contains some of the code that I don't need. So, so we have to ignore certain codes. 
he already gives give, give a you know heads up for this so i pull this code and uh, and one thing uh, one thing uh, that i want to uh, highlight here is um, his assertion is exactly what i wanted so uh, he has create user again the test implementation is hidden nobody no, we don't even know what is happening you say this but we just pass the payload it takes care of posting this right so very very clean implementation i really like this way how he constructed this whole thing and uh, yeah setting base uri setting base path uh, content type everything everything is really really good so nothing to complain here uh, assertion is something that i like and uh, and even even he could have you know made this as part of this right and has json has valid json data create user response concat okay so the file name file name is trying to fetch maybe based on the user <laughs> so it is it is really complex here right so maybe uh, when you are trying to do a lot of things uh, yes it's okay to do some invention like uh, i think uh, he is trying to say create user response and the username let's say the username is ronaldo he wants to pick that particular json right so maybe uh, if you want to have something like this uh, this is kind of an expensive operation so so create it as a local variable so that anyone can read this right so it doesn't take a lot of time so we just have to introduce a new local variable and uh, not for this let me cut this and you can simply have a string uh, paths or file name whatever and you can put it here right and you don't need this at all so now this is okay but again uh, there can be better ways of doing this but at least if you have something like this it's good uh, but i really like the way how he implemented this uh, is not null again i know this is convention uh, even in the assert j documentation it was like this but in the previous video i have mentioned about using soft assertions for this but even then this is really good implementation i is trying to check the schemas uh, i said uh, i don't know why he uses this is not needed at all maybe if you're not uh, using anything you should remove them uh, okay i think it it needs this but not the you know generics for this you need the generics uh absolutely fine time within long again as i mentioned time out uh time in millis is so you just mention what is the time unit because there can be a lot of other possibilities right but um uh, i think he has a lot of other code uh, which he mentioned not to take a look at it but i am telling you surijit you have done really good job in your in your test but this base test is really scary to me okay so don't have so much of code in this it's really scary but uh, whatever this uh, code that you have submitted to me uh, is 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 of really good quality maybe i also check this is trying to construct uh, this uh, but surijit like instead of using data provider they also have video on data supplier how we can make this uh, let's say you construct this user list you can just uh, convert it to uh, uh, stream or you can even pass it as a list of user so that's the advantage of using data supplier you can also see that so that you can you can this is basically an expensive you know so for each of the user you are trying to construct an object array it is occupying extra space uh, yes it, yes it's okay but you know even this uh you can basically you don't have to do all these things uh you can simply say to all right and and this can be made as an object array and yeah so this will work even though it will it will say uh i hate in warning but it will work right so you can also do this so i think apart from this i don't know whether he has some other code that i have to take a look but his ap code uh basically it's very clean i really like this code and he is uh, maybe on the top 10 uh, yeah 
I think very well done, guys. Uh, Surajit, very well done. So I think all the four assignments. Uh, thank you, guys, for submitting this. Murli, uh, Nihal, and uh, Sadab and Surajit. Uh, all of you have done a reasonably good job. Uh, but if I I want to uh, combine all these things, then you know, for from Murli framework, we could take something. From Surajit, we can take assertion. From Sadab, we can take some clean code. And from Nehal, we can uh, get that clean implementation, right? So, so everyone, I think the Murli have used uh, for say design pattern, the way he used external libraries are all good. So I think if four of you have combined all these things together in one assignment, I'd be happy to see that. But all of you have done a really good job. I'll, I'll, I'll see how, what gift I can send you to four of you. Uh, but thank you for sending this assignment. Uh, very well done. Thank you very much.